What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com. It's been a minute since I brought you guys a review or something behind the camera. Everything has been computer based since it's news, but I do have something new obviously. As you see, this is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra. This is the restock edition. Um, really, there's no difference in from the surface that is from the restock and the previous drop that took place back in February. But for those that are interested in copying them, June 24th is the date. Retail is $220, and you can grab them at Chic Shoes Retailers. Link in the description below. Also, later in this video, I'm going to give you guys some help. Hopefully, it helps you guys out on obtaining a pair. However, by now, I'm sure a lot of you have already submitted your raffle tickets, did, you know, all that stuff to make sure you get a pair. But this pair is exactly like the February release. That's why I feel a little bit weird on doing a review because there's so many out there. But um, I'm not sure if... Adidas decided to produce more pairs or originally they had a shitload of pairs already made and they were like okay we're just gonna leak a select amount out because these were pretty damn limited on the first drop which took place back in February but primed it across the uppers and known as the zebra because of the white and black theme and you can see all those little graphics and whatever you want to call it through the prime knit Also, there will be a link in the description below, um, a real versus fake on this pair. In my opinion, this is one of the best 350 V2s to drop. This and the bread pair. But I'm not sure which one I like more. Now, there's actually two shades here. We got like a true white up top, more like a kind of like a cream off white look to it on the bottom part. Hopefully that picks up. And SPLY 350, whatever that stands for. Some people say it's St. Pablo Loves You. Uh, so I don't even know. Someone said something else, but I forgot what it is. One of the things I do not like about this shoe, though, and that comes at the heel, and that would be this, um, the various color use. So you have like a true white and then almost like a yellowish hue to it. And I'm just not a fan of that. I don't know why. I just, ugh. But other than that, these are dope. Um, for me, this is trade bait, though. I've been thinking about getting a pair and just holding on to them for a while. Because the prices have tremendously dropped. The resale prices. I remember seeing them for, what, like 2 k and then 15 k around there. And now I'm seeing, I don't know what they're going for now that the re-release is happening. But I've seen people offering like 500 cash out all day and stuff like that. But I don't know. So the medial side, we got that zebra print going on, which looks pretty damn dope. Get you on that toe shot. Also going to do it on feet if I didn't mention that. Show you a closer look at that stitch pattern that runs up to the tongue. And the three stripes branding back here on the inside of the heel tab. And I forgot to pull out the insole, but let me do that really quick. Should be a lot easier. Show you the opposite side. And show you the guts in there. Alright, so to the the sole it kind of has that yellowish glow to it which i talked about earlier that hits the midsole let's get a closer in on that boost nice and plush it's not stiff like fake boost obviously it's not going to be because it's not fake but we'll do it once more over we'll jump to the on feet Get into the outro, let you guys know some additional details on what I've learned today. Now, I don't know every retailer that's going to have them. I do know, obviously, Chic, Champs, like all the major foot sites. But I did get some, I guess you could say, insider info that I'm going to let you guys know in the out outro. That could help you guys out. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. I don't know. But not a bad shoe. 
definitely something nice for the summer. But I don't know. I think I like the bread more. Let's jump to the on feet. All right, everybody, so that was your closer and on feet look at the Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 Zebra. They are dropping once again on June 24th. Retail price is 220. You can grab them at Chic Shoes Retailers. Link in the description below. So are they gonna sit or are they gonna sell out? These are gonna sit. No, I'm playing. Man, I don't even wanna really talk about that because we already know the deal with Yeezys. They do not sit. They have never sat. And even that power phase, that sold out. And to me, that looks like absolute trash um but hey everyone has their own likes their dislikes and that is something i strongly dislike i will say this the numbers on the re-release are a lot higher than the initial drop i do not believe adidas made as many pairs this time around or they're releasing this many pairs this time around as they did for the bread or even the cream whites i believe these are still i, I don't want to say limited and in uh Yeez, we're talking yeezys here because when we say gr for jordan brand it's like there's a shitload of pairs dropping but when we say gr for yeezy there still isn't that many pairs dropping there's a lot but it's nothing like that and then you have the hype and the resale and all that stuff but i don't think there's as many pairs releasing compared to the cream or the bread with that being said um you guys probably already know where to buy these from you guys probably already took the necessary routes to ensure you get a pair but this is the insider info that i kind of have on this as some of you may know i work with chic but to the extent i haven't really said that and this will all tie in in a second so what chic allows me to do is go to their store they allow me to pick up a pair of shoes bring them back to my house shoot a review and then i bring them back they do not pay me to shout them out or anything like that. It's just a mutual agreement where they allow me to do this. And in turn, I give them credit, of course. Also, I do not receive any type of incentive. I do not get discounts. I don't, nothing like that. Other than what every other customer may receive when they go in there, like they run promos or things like that. Then, of course, I can take advantage of that. Now, I'm not saying any of this information because they paid me or anything like that or to promote them even more. I'm saying this because it's what I was told. And I would like to help you guys out. So when I went in there today, I talked to the manager like I usually do. And I kind of got a guess on how many pairs that store and other stores are receiving in the Sacramento area as well as California. And what he told me is that store received 12 pairs and a few others received here maybe like, I don't know. 15 at max something around that line maybe 20 now this information may help you out a bit more because i feel like chic online people do not hit it as much as they should they are going to drop online and there's going to be a lot online now the actual numbers i don't know but he said there's he saw around 300 pairs 400 pairs in the warehouse so with that being said that's not a great amount of pairs but i feel like chic online is one of those websites that is kind of slept on like people do not check it out although as of late they've really been trying to promote it i've seen them drop what they're calling like bundle packs they brought back a few sold out pairs and they couple that with like attire and things like that and they've also been doing restocks like i know they had like the toro fours and stuff like that so their whole thing is to promote the online so they're like a number one source but at the same time i also feel like a lot of people do not check the site out so with that being said hit chic up in the morning um i'm not sure what time they're gonna drop at this point i'll find out and if 
Obviously, I'm not going to find out before I shoot this video, but I'll have that in the description once I know it. And if I could pull a URL to them, I'll drop that there so you don't have to search. It'll be nice, quick, and easy. And no, the URL will not have an affiliate on it. I will not make money. Nothing like that. This is strictly to help you guys out. But other than that, the stores you want to hit would be like the lesser known ones. Um, like your, your Foot Locker, your East Bay, Champs, th those sites, like everybody's going to flock to those sites. Um, you want to try to hit like, I'm, I'm going to guess, I wouldn't even say sneakers and stuff. I'm not sure if they're getting them. I think they are, but sites like that, you do want to hit that up. You have a better chance, although people know about all those and stuff, but the times they release are really odd. It's like early or really late at night, so you have somewhat of a better chance that way. Now, just to touch on the quality really quick, these are actually really nice. Um, the creams, they were, in my opinion, they weren't that great. I mean, yeah, you have your Prime Knit, you got your Boost, yada, 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 all that good stuff, but... It's just that the overall craftsmanship was hit and miss everywhere. And I saw so many people complain about it. It's not even funny. Even with the bread release, it was hit and miss everywhere. But the Zebra, the first one was really nice. This pair, really nice. What I seen was really nice. So overall, these are dope. And I, even if the quality was bad, if a lot of people had a chance to pick them up, they're going to, even if they're going to keep them, resell them, whatever it may be. But leave a comment below and let me know if you plan on picking these up or passing. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>